but it is a new week. It is Tuesday, apparently. I flew back in yesterday, and now I am here at the Dolby Theater, actually the Dolby Ballroom, upstairs with Ava. Hi! And we are uh, filming interviews, actually. We just finished up, as you can tell by the incredible empty carpet. It's so empty, it's so empty but uh, the lighting's really good. So this is where I'm starting off this week's video. How fun. <laughs> so random. Hello, it is Wednesday and today was also a super exciting day. I know a lot of it has been just going on this week, but uh, today was really exciting because uh, during the cinematography class, uh, as a class we got to go to today's film episode of the Hollywood Masters series. It is a really cool thing that the film school does here and it is also available on Netflix, which is really cool because Dead and Lay was in a Netflix show today. I don't know when they're gonna post this particular one, but you guys can go and watch the rest of them and a whole bunch of other ones on Netflix right now. So look at Polly Masters, it's pretty cool. Check it out. Uh, but today's guests were super, super cool, amazing people. But it is the dynamic duo of John Bailey, who is currently the president of the Academy. Like, seriously, so cool. And he went to LMU many, many years ago, which is awesome. And his wife, Carol Littleton, who is an editor of so many really cool films and everything, including E.T., which is also pretty crazy. So we got to go to the Q&A of that. There was a photo taken. I don't know where that photo is yet, but once it's up, you'll definitely be seeing me reposting it. And yeah, it was pretty cool. It was very interesting, and it was just a really cool thing. And then we had class, and class actually let out a little bit earlier today. So I've been getting some editing done of my own. I tried to get the 300 a little bit more together, things like that. So that's been my day, and yeah. Oh my gosh. So as I'm pretty sure you guys all know by this point, I have always been a huge fan and totally inspired by the show called Once Upon a Time. It's been IBC for the past how many years now? It's definitely been a while and it's just inspired a lot of just what I do and things just in general. Like it's a great show, I highly recommend. And yeah, and it's coming to an end soon, which is really sad, and I do want to actually have like a bunch of really cool content about that later, but at the same time, it has kind of been a nice little follow through since, oh my gosh, like early high school. Like I think it started by a freshman year of high school, and now I'm a junior, and I feel like everything's kind of just wrapping up in a weird full circle way with this show, and um, yeah. <laughs> So I'm going to try to keep this story relatively short, but long story short, I had just gone to a really cool event. So I just went to the Cinemagic event over in Santa Monica and it was a really cool event. It was kind of last second, but Ava was like, hey, I kind of got interviews for this and there might be once people and I was just obviously just very excited about that. So we went got some interviews, but the main person who was there that I was just very, very happy to meet was Jennifer Morrison, and she spit up a swad throughout the show, and it was another weird full circle moment where I've been just watching the show for so long, just here on the show, and now it's like, whoa, you're like really right there, and what was even cooler was it was like, hey, I'm having this interview, but a couple questions in, pass the mic on to me, and I... You guys know this, but I've actually had very little interviewing experience and especially when it comes down to like someone that I've been watching for the past several years on my favorite show, it was kind of nerve-wracking, not gonna lie. Um, uh, but I did have a couple of cool questions in mind, so I definitely asked them you guys should go check it out on the, that interview. I'll post a link when it's available. It'll be up 
sometime soon, I'm guessing. I'm not sure where either, but it, that totally happened. And it was just such a cool moment being able to be there. And even though I knew the camera was recording and I knew I was like holding the mic and everything, like I kind of pushed all of the Oh, I'm in an interview on camera and a red carpet aside and kind of just took a moment to just kind of be in that moment and be like, I'm here, this is happening. And she just had so much great advice along with the questions that I was asking and just really great answers. And it was just really, really cool to have that kind of moment, especially today where <laughs> I've, it, you guys probably remember last year, uh, spring semester is always really crazy. There's always a lot going on and there's a lot of nerves because, you know, especially as a junior, I want to make sure that I'm doing the right thing and I'm keeping on track and I'm getting closer to a relative career, you know, that's kind of important. Um, uh, that's a thing. And it's been kind of stressful, but just there's a lot of opening doors and not really knowing what's going to happen, especially in regards to summer plans and housing and trying to finalize my 300 and just everything that's going on, not even to mention class registration, which I'll probably be getting emails about really, really soon. Uh, so all that together, it's a lot. But today I've gotten so many signs and that's the thing, like I realized walking back today, I'm sorry, I'm everywhere, but I realized that I want answers about what's going to be happening because like I'm not just in need of these answers like everyone's in need of these answers and, and you know I want to know things but at the same time what I've been receiving I think is more important and that isn't necessarily answers but just signs that I'm on the right path I'm doing the right thing and it's all going to work out and I'm shaking and I can cry because it's it's just a lot and I can't say that all the little signs and all these little patterns and pieces of this weird puzzle of life, like I don't know what means what, but if I could just look at signs and think of my gut feeling towards all of these little signs and kind of put it together to a relative, I think this is what it might lead to. That's inspiring and that kind of just says enough and I'm just enjoying the journey because whether I have answers to or not about the specific of what is going to happen, I'm enjoying the journey along the way and I think that's really important because I can't tell you what the future brings but I have a really good feeling about it. Oh my gosh, I can't even breathe. Hey, that like, this is so weird. I feel like I'm gonna watch this and be like, oh girl, you don't even know, but I'm... Um, so yeah, that was a pretty great moment. So definitely a huge shout out uh, to Jennifer Morrison for actually kind of just being really nice and being super amazing and being so inspirational. Just, you know, she's acting and directing and doing a whole bunch of really cool things. And I don't know, I feel like a lot of people get caught up in just doing one big thing and I'm just focusing that. And I've always been someone who wants to do a little bit of it all. I love acting, I love directing, I love writing. And it's not like I'm going from one over the other, it's just kind of, I'm kind of bouncing around and in the moment maybe I'm like, all right, I'm spending a lot of time now doing this one thing. And for me right now, it's actually acting. Um, as you saw with kind of just planning out the 300 and everything, I was doing a lot with directing and I really like changing that around and before that it was right aided. I just, I like being able to bounce around and in the moment focus on primarily one thing, but I just do a little bit of several things because I feel like that's just a cool thing and she's done so much of that that it's always been very inspiring to me. So definite shout out there. Also a super shout out to Ava for being absolutely amazing and inviting me to go to this, just not even to mention all the other events, uh, but also letting me kind of jump in and ask some questions. It was, it was fun. It was really cool. I kind of felt like that was going to happen because that totally happened. I was slightly off guard uh, for a different interview further back. Um, but yeah, yeah, so definite shout out there and just that's been my day. It's been crazy. I can't even begin to describe how many weird, crazy things have happened today, and I can't describe a lot of what's going on. Um, but I hope this gave a little insight to that, because there's been a lot of weirdness happening, and it's exciting weirdness, but whew, it's weird weirdness, so I should keep on going and keep on trucking along, because I've got quite a bit to do. 
it's late. Um, plus I need to unwind a bit. But anyway, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Good morning, it is Saturday and it is a gloomier kind of day today, but I've been keeping it relatively easy. Uh, I just got some laundry done, I haven't even made my bed yet, and I've also been working on finalizing some editing and things I needed to do, and just laptop cleaning, and kind of just miscellaneous important things, you know, they're good, 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 but uh, things are kind of coming together in regards to summer slash next year plans, and even life plans, like I can't even go into full out detail, but uh, things are going pretty well lately and it's looking good so I'm actually spontaneously going to go and see about potential housing situations which is pretty exciting so that's why I'm like kind of not ready yet but uh, lashes are on because I don't want to go full out makeup but I want to look presentable you know so uh, yeah that's basically my day it's been pretty simple I'm actually going to watch yesterday's episode of once later today because I don't have time right now and I wasn't able to watch it yesterday so I'm going to do that later and that's exciting but yeah I think about grabbing some coffee heading out over and trying to figure this stuff out because it's pretty exciting also I'm going to take a quick moment of appreciation to say that I have two different auditions uh, strips. Um, they're both going to be tomorrow. One is going to be on campus for a scene here and another one's going to be at CAST which is a audition place out in Hollywood which is pretty exciting and that's going to be my day tomorrow pretty much. There's going to be a lot of moving around and all that good stuff but ooh I'm gonna charge the battery. I feel like I always mention that while I'm filming because I never notice it otherwise but uh yeah, so I need to memorize my lines today as well, so that's also really exciting. So, I think we're pretty positive. So, I'm in my best of work of the spies right now. <laughs> Apparently Justin Bieber was here 45 minutes ago. Twitter. Was it Twitter? Yeah. Okay, it was Twitter. We should want that one. Oh yeah, the press is the button, that's for it. Um, so yeah, we're guessing. Next chat, just what you want. Also, I kind of just want to go. <laughs> so we're going home. And I'm going to get it. It's St. Patty's Day and I'm not wearing any green because I forgot. But I got a matcha latte. Green tea. So good. So, just finalized my audition. Went really well. I don't know what it is about me in auditions today, but both went surprisingly well. Pretty glad. So, now I'm gonna walk on over to Target, which is nearby, and pick up deodorant because I'm classy like that. That's what I do, so. Yay! literally turned a day of homework and auditions into a day of self-guided tourism fun stuff. I'm just walking around Hollywood. It's a good time. So uh, that's my day. <laughs> it's been so peaceful. Yeah. 